Welcome to the next week of Raider Wrap Up. To start off, Senior Portrait Makeups will be on September 11th. Annual prints only are free, but if you would like to bring outfits and see your proofs, the cost is $25. Make checks payable to Bill Miller. This is your last chance to have Senior Portraits made. If you do not have your portrait made, you will not be in the yearbook. Sign up outside Ms. Walker's door. Also, the New York trip will be during spring break. If you're going, you will be leaving on March 26th and be returning home March 30th. In the span of those four days, you will be going on a ferry ride to the Statue of Liberty and taking a tour of Ellis Island. And you'll be visiting the 9-11 National Memorial. You will also be getting a new perspective of the world in Chinatown, Little Italy, Broadway, and Times Square. For more information, go see Miss Walker. And now we're going to send it over to Caleb Parker with the sports. Hey guys, this is Caleb Parker with Raider Football. The varsity football team won their second game of the season against Gaston 37-9. They dominated all night long, scoring a total of five touchdowns. Brody Phillips scored three touchdowns by passing to his receivers Caden Turner and Jake Malsey. Running backs Ethan Borders and Colton East each had a running touchdown. The Raider defense forced two turnovers, both being interceptions by Caden Turner and Jake Malsey. The varsity football team will play September 8th at Welburn Stadium. Please come out to support the Raiders as they go for another win. The junior high football game scheduled from this Tuesday against Hoax Bluff has been rescheduled to Thursday at 5.30 p.m. due to rain and lightning. We'll have information on that game next week on the next episode. That's all for football. Now let's send it over to Juliana Ballou. Hey guys, it's Juliana here. On Tuesday, Varsity Volleyball picked up a big area win over Glencoe, three to nothing. Junior High also took a win over White Plains, two to nothing. Good job, ladies. Your Raider Cross Country team will be in action on Saturday at Nakalula Falls, racing in the second biggest race in the state that day. The boys are picked to win the whole entire meet, and the girls will face rival Alexandria in hopes to come out on top. With two of the top six taking the ACT, the girls are going to have to run extra hard to make up for their teammates. Be sure to wish them good luck. And now I'm going to talk to you about the weather. As most of you know about Hurricane Irma, it has been brewing in the Atlantic Ocean for about a week now. It is a Category 5 hurricane, and it is the strongest storm ever recorded in the Atlantic Ocean. It has destroyed millions of homes already in the islands down below Florida. Florida is in a state of emergency, and it is expected to reach Miami with 150 plus mile per hour winds. Hurricane Irma is so strong that it's registering on seismographs, which is what they use to detect earthquakes. The weather on Saturday will be very wonderful if you're planning on going to the JSU game at Georgia Tech. They play at 11.30 in the morning. Thanks, Juliana. And that'll be all for this week. If you have any news or events going on you want mentioned on the show, please email us at pbbroadcast at gmail.com. Till then, we'll see you next time.